Yo guys, what is going on? It's Lukey here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the fastest way to get all gold ARs. Now this video is going to be as fast as possible. I'm going to get straight to the point. I am also going to be making a video on the SMGs, LMGs, snipers, every single different category and every single different challenge. So if you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I will be posting the best tips and tricks for every single weapon category. I have also uploaded videos on my page, the fastest ways to get headshots, the best long shot locations on every single map and also the fastest way to level up your weapons. So if you guys are interested, check my channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the first thing I want to talk about, which is the playstyle you guys are going to need to have whilst using the assault rifles to get as many kills as possible and to unlock all the challenges as fast as possible. So the assault rifles are built for medium to long range gunfights. At close range gunfights, they can be most weapons. However, if your enemy has some kind of SMG, I have found that SMGs on this game are seem quite dominant at the moment pretty much every single gunfight i get into where it's a close range gunfight against an mp5 or a milano etc etc the xm4 and other assault rifles always seem to lose even if you shoot first in time so i do recommend you guys trying to play a little bit more slow and picking off those medium to long range gunfights the first challenge you need to do for every single weapon in this game is level up your weapon as fast as possible. The fastest way to level up your weapon is going to be to play the fire team bomb game mode. I have made an entire video dedicated to how to level up your weapons as fast as possible. If you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check my page. I'm not going to talk about it in this video as much because I like to make my videos as straight to the point as possible so you guys can quickly get all the information and then you guys can go ahead and play again. So if you guys are looking for a video dedicated to how to level up your weapons fast, just check my page. But trust me, play Fireteam Bomb Mode and you guys are going to be getting triple times the weapon XP. It's ridiculously fast. The first challenge is to get kills and these are just going to naturally come so there's nothing you guys can do to speed it up. Headshots also are going to naturally come, so my biggest tip for getting headshots is literally just to don't think about it. Don't think about getting headshots, just literally ignore the headshot challenge. And I guarantee you, by the time you've finished all the other challenges, your headshot challenges will already be done. If you've completed your challenges and you still realise you have headshot challenges left, then all you guys got to do is hop into some hardcore free-for-all, stick on a nice iron sight, stick on a suppressor, and just literally aim for the head and you guys will get it in no time. The next challenge you need to do is to get bloodthirsties. This is 5 kills in a row without dying. The best game modes for this are free for all, domination and the 12v12 game mode. TDM is also pretty decent but those other ones in my opinion are the best. Out of all of them, domination is probably going to be the best because you have a fixed spawn. Obviously, you either spawn A or B, so you can kind of control the spawns and you can spawn trap your enemies a little bit. Also, if you guys are looking for a best class to use, in my opinion, this is the best class to use on all assault rifles. The first attachment is the Microflex LED. You're going to want to use the Agency Suppressor and then next up, you want to use the Reinforced Heavy Barrel. Next up you want the field agent grip and then the 50 round speed mags. In my opinion this is one of the best assault rifle classes you can use and like I said it is pretty much the same attachment on every single weapon so just make it near this. You don't have to copy my class setup completely, you can use whatever class setup you want but the things I do recommend is sticking on a suppressor because it's going to take you off the minimap and stick on um, extended mags because extended mags is going to obviously give you more bullets so you're not going to have to reload. Whenever you reload in this game you have like one second of vulnerability and you can easily get killed whilst you're reloading so the more bullets you have the less you're going to have to reload. The next two things you must have on your class are Ghost, so whenever the enemies have a UAV you are hidden off the minimap and also Scavenger so you don't run out of bullets and also stick a stim shot on so you can replenish your health whenever you are weak. The next challenge on this video is going to be to get long shots. Long shots are pretty easy with assault rifles because they obviously have a pretty nice range. I do have a video on my channel for the best long shot locations on every single map so I do recommend you guys checking that out. The best way to get long shots is to simply play hardcore domination, 
watch over the B flag because it is the most high traffic area on the map and sit back a little bit and just pick people off extremely easily. Sit on a head glitch or sit far back where people can't see you. Make sure to stick on a nice site where you can see people really easily. Make sure it has a little bit of a zoom on it or maybe even some kind of thermal scope would be really, really nice as well. Stick on an extended barrel as well because this is going to help you quite a lot. The next thing you need to do for the challenges is to kill enemies who are detected or stunned and this is going to come extremely naturally all you guys got to do is get a uav and when the enemy appears on the uav when you kill them it'll count towards the challenge so honestly i wouldn't even bother trying to go for this one it's basically going to come naturally and you're going to probably get it done within a couple of games the next challenge is to get 50 kills whilst you are behind an object or taking cover and this one is pretty easy as long as any part of your body has some kind of object in front of it this counts towards the challenge any head glitch anything like that the best way to do this and the fastest way is once again to play hardcore domination watch over the b flag whilst you are head glitching an object and kill anyone who comes near the b flag it's really easy and you're going to get this one done in a couple of games the last challenge is going to be to get double kills and once again this is pretty easy the best way to do this is making sure you have a extended mag on so you guys can obviously have more bullets and you don't have to reload and then you can get easier double kills and the next thing you want to do is play hardcore is extremely good for double kills because everyone is so weak and it only takes a couple of bullets or you can play the 12v12 game mode and this is going to help you get extremely easy double kills because there are so many people on the map. Anyway, that's been it for today's video. Subscribe for more camo guides and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.